before Obama arrived, the United States and the Philippines signed a new security pact. U.S. officials said it is aimed at establishing greater stability in the region, not as a counter to Chinese assertiveness. Philippines, our Philippine Defense Minister Voltaire Gazmin and U.S. Ambassador Philip Goldberg signed a 10-year pact on Monday with the American military securing greater access to bases across the country. The agreement is expected to pave the way for a larger U.S. military presence in the country. The Philippines has been keen to boost its military capacity and show off its close ties to the U.S. at a time when it has a rival claim to parts of the West Philippine Sea with its much larger neighbor, China. Through joint exercises, training, and subject matter expert exchanges, to increase their capabilities and interoperability, the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement, or EDCA, serves as recognition by both sides that there is even more we can do together to support the alliance and to promote peace and security in the region. Goldberg emphasized that the U.S. is not intent to set up permanent military bases in the Philippines. Listen to this. Commitment to de democratic governance and international law. The mutuality of benefits for both nations as we develop our individual and collective defense capacities. Respect for Philippine sovereignty over all locations covered under the agreement, and the understanding that the United States does not intend to establish a permanent military presence in the Philippines. Gazmin said that the pact is the essence of maturing relations between Manila and Washington and will enhance their individual and collective capabilities. This agreement allows us to work on what is called for under the MDP which is the development of individual and collective capacity and sustain our ability to undertake what is possible under the VFA, which are training and exercises. The Obama administration has previously promised that the United States will reposition naval forces so that 60% of its warships are based in Asia Pacific by the end of the decade, up from about 50% at present.